What is up guys and welcome to another video. Today we are talking about the new game mode that has been added to Red Dead Online which is called Up In Smoke. In the last 24 hours I've played this game mode non-stop. It is actually really really entertaining. I don't know whether or not this is going to wear off as the week goes on like a lot of other previous game modes. The only one that hasn't sort of faded out for me is Spores of War and that has been my go-to mode but this will probably replace it. This game mode is actually really 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 fun to play. I really do like these objective based game modes where it's actually you need to go for something else and the amount of kills the amount of deaths doesn't really matter i'm terrible at games i'm terrible at shooter games i can never ever get that many kills i, I don't know what it is i've just always been bad at them i'm just slow on reaction as soon as i run into someone they're always just a lot quicker than me with this one it doesn't really matter too much if i die yeah obviously if by killing the player i am in a better position but there's still a whole other objective to do in that game instead of just get the most kills and get the least depths. So for game modes like this, it's actually really good for me. At the minute, there is only one bad thing, and that is you do not get too much money for the game that you're seeing in the background. We actually ended up winning this game. I'm not gonna show you any gameplay of me losing, but we won this game and all we got was $14.89, which really isn't too much. It's better than races. I will probably never go back to a target race to go and get money and grind out money on Red Dead online or any races for that reason so it's definitely still okay with $14 per game that's if you win but it really isn't too much money spoils of war sometimes I'm pushing like 19 20 dollars and then obviously other showdown series you can actually get a lot more money out of doing this if you come in the top three me I never really get in top three unless it's a team game mode and not like a free-for-all that's the only time I can ever win because that's mainly my team carry me to the win but with this one you do not get that much money compared to other stuff in yesterday's video when I was reading through the description of what up in smoke is I really thought that you you would have a number of different checkpoints which you have to take the bomb to and then blow up that place. That is not the case. There is only one massive checkpoint but you still need to bring all your team's bombs to that location to go and blow it up. So it's still technically the same but it technically isn't. I really hoped that there would be a couple of different locations in your opponent's base that you have to take the bomb to and I thought that would be a lot more Exciting, I guess. It would be a lot better in my opinion. Instead of all going to one checkpoint, maybe there's some checkpoints close, so maybe there's some checkpoints that are just completely away from other players. There will just be a lot more stuff to focus on instead of just all crowding around this one location waiting for people to show up there. Obviously, once you go and blow up the locations and then eventually you're only left with one, the defending team will all have to go around that one location, but the game mode will slowly change over time as different places get blown up. That is what I thought it would be, and that is kind of what I hoped. This game mode is still fun to play. It's still good. Like I said, it is lacking money. XP as well, you're still only getting about 250, maybe 350 XP. Gold, every time with Showdown Series now, you're only getting eight gold nuggets. I wish that would change a bit more. If you were to go and lose this game, I think you can go and get four gold nuggets. It then goes down to around about $10 if you have played the full game, and then about 150 XP per game. So, it changing from you winning to losing isn't too much. It's only about $5, 100 extra XP, and also four gold nuggets, so it isn't too much of a change. But at the minute, I'm actually really enjoying this game mode. Leave it in the comments down below of whether or not you like this game mode or not. I really hope that in the future that we'll get some different stuff. I'm really expecting in a period, so next week we have a new update, which is a new game mode. The week after that, we have nothing. We're probably going to get information, but we're not going to get the next title update for maybe another month or two. So who knows how long the wait's going to be, but I really hope in that time we revisit these game modes again and we change some things up. I really hope that these game modes get updated, maybe say a double gold weekend, maybe a double money at weekend, double XP, all of this types of stuff. I hope that we get each weekend. It's really hard to tell and there's no guarantee that's gonna happen, but I'm really hoping that this is something that does happen. At the minute, what we're getting is a 30% extra XP on ability cards. And I would recommend if you haven't upgraded your ability cards to go and get all the XP required to go and do it. It costs $250 to go and upgrade them, but what you need before that is to go and get 10,000 XP for each ability card and then you can rank it up by paying money. I would recommend going through 
all your ability cards balls playing this game mode because it is a good game mode it is an entertaining game mode you do spend a lot of your time running but it is a very good game mode but whilst you're having fun playing this game mode you can also rank up the different ability cards which will definitely come in hand at later stages of this game through development and i'm hoping also the next title update but anyway guys i hope you guys did enjoy if you did enjoy don't forget to leave a like and subscribe but for now i'm going so see ya